Ricky Chicks is a talented underground artist best known for his unique and experimental new style of music. Ricky is an interesting artist and hopefully this video helps you learn a little more about him. Ricky was born in New Jersey but moved to Manhattan at the age of 4 years old. Ricky grew up in Manhattan but just recently moved back to New Jersey. Throughout his youth, Ricky took an interest in studying history and playing slash watching soccer. Ricky is actually still interested in these hobbies to this day. Ricky also said his father was born in Lebanon which affected his upbringing by being exposed to different cultures from a young age. It seemed as a kid Ricky had an itch for creativity because his interest in music and film would creep into his life early on. On the film side, Ricky had an attraction to filming and editing content for YouTube. His interest in this wouldn't amount to anything serious at the time, however it will come into play again later in his story. On the musical side, Ricky would pick up an instrument after being inspired by the movie titled School of Rock at the age of 7 years old. Ricky watched the movie with his family which led his father into suggesting that Ricky and his younger brother should learn how to play instruments themselves. Ricky began learning how to play the guitar and his brother began learning how to play the piano. Ricky took guitar lessons for about 4 years before dropping the hobby. He said at the time learning guitar felt like work and being a musician wouldn't interest him for a while after this. As a kid, Ricky grew up in a household where music was being played frequently by his parents. The first music Ricky would be exposed to would consist of bands slash artists his parents enjoyed. A few of these bands slash artists he recalls from his youth include the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Linkin Park, Frank Sinatra, Coldplay, and Michael Jackson. Ricky actually still looks up to these artists as inspiration to this day. By the time Ricky had gotten to high school, he had formed an appreciation for the genre of hip-hop. A couple of the first hip-hop artists Ricky recalled really enjoying include 50 Cent and ASAP Rocky. It wouldn't be long until Ricky found himself listening to artists in the underground music scene. Ricky credits a portion of his introduction to the underground music scene to the music and fashion collective known as Ben Trill. At that time, Ben Trill had been promoting artists in the New York City scene which resulted in Ricky and his friends taking an interest in the music. A few artists that Ricky discovered around that time would include Travis Scott, Gabe Avuzi, Black Cray, and Young Lean. Ricky discovering Young Lean is actually a very important part of his story. Ricky said he was inspired to make his own music after seeing Young Lean perform at Webster Hall in 2014. It wouldn't be until a couple years after this that Ricky actually started making music, however this was where his spark for musicianship was reignited. It would be while Ricky was in his junior year of high school that he would actually start making music himself. He was recording with a cheap USB microphone on the music software GarageBand. Ricky was able to make this beginner setup work for a long time and only upgraded his equipment about a year ago. He currently uses the music software Logic along with a higher quality USB microphone. For a couple of years, Ricky just made music for fun and wouldn't take it too seriously until after high school. He said during his senior year he was arrested a couple of times which motivated him to take music more seriously. During the year 2018, Ricky was taking music more seriously and putting more effort into his craft. Ricky was working for a restaurant at the time but would use his free time to work on music. As an effort to take his music more seriously, Ricky began networking online and in person to make connections with other like-minded artists. Towards the end of the year in 2019, Ricky formed a friendship slash working relationship with an artist by the name of Marlon Dubois. Shortly after Ricky and Marlon met the pandemic hit which resulted in them not seeing each other for about a year. Eventually once the COVID situation began to lighten up, Marlon moved to New York City and the two artists reconnected. At this point, Ricky Marlon, along with another artist by the name of Dugan, moved into a New York City apartment together. The three artists spent the bulk of their free time creating music with each artist contributing in multiple ways. Eventually, the collective known as Shed Theory would be formed. Ricky said he fills a few roles as far as Shed Theory goes. He incorporates his experience with film and playing guitar by filming and editing content alongside contributing guitar loops for instrumentals. Vocals are obviously a role he plays as well. Just recently, Ricky returned from a tour with Joey and all of the Shed Theory members. Ricky said while creating music, he considers how the music he makes will sound live. He said it's important to him that his music sounds great live and it's part of his artistry. Ricky and the rest of Shed Theory are currently planning another tour soon. As far as other plans for the future goes, Ricky plans to release a solo project. Ricky is a great artist and I look forward to seeing where his career takes him. Well that's all for this video, big shout out to Hopeless for the edit, and please subscribe for more mini documentaries on various underground artists.